All right, welcome back to Akron Zips Dynasty here on NCAA Football 12. We are 0-3. Um, just a reminder, we are the worst team in the NCAA, and it's really not even close. We had a chance last week. Had a chance. We took a 3 nothing lead at uh, in the fourth quarter against Army, and then they, after getting stopped the whole game, drove right down the field and scored a touchdown. And then we came down and, and got fairly close and th threw an interception. So, taking on Eastern Michigan this week, and we are going to get right into the game. Again, recruiting will be in a separate video, as always. Last recruiting video, one one of the earlier recruiting videos. I think it was the week one one. I was actually doing fairly well so far, so hopefully those continue to do well. Um, of course the gameplay is is pretty important, you know. That's, but <laughs> we're, we're we're suffering a lot early. Lost 105 to 12 in our first game, and then after lowering the quarter length, we lost 32 to nothing to Boise State. Army's really been the only game we've, you know, been close at all in, so. We're taking on Eastern Michigan here. I think we'll go Tails. It is not Tails, and they are going to kick the ball. I think we've received the ball first in every game. Of course, this is a conference game now, too, so. Very important. And what do we want to do here? Let's go with this mid screen. It works occasionally. Of course, after that second game, we did decide to make a change at quarterback. Chavez is the QB here now. And we get four on that play, which... Certainly could have gone worse. Of course, Eastern Michigan, you know, not not like they're the best team in the NCAA or something, but I do think we're maybe a little outmatched here. I think I want to go quarterback draw. We've got a scrambling quarterback here. If they start running down the field or something, you know, maybe we can. Pick up a block or two. We don't don't get much on that. It's fourth down, we're gonna have to punt. I do prefer these kick meters to the Madden kick meters, definitely. I, th I think they're easier to deal with. But as well as our defense played last week, I think you know punting maybe not the worst option. They're gonna pitch it. And just get about one, so. Again, recruiting video will be after this sometime. Probably record it right after and then maybe schedule it to upload later in the day. And we're going to get another stop there. They're going to lose that yard they gained on the last play. Um, and we're, we're very close right now to 500 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, think about doing that um again we'll have more akron zips dynasty We've got three madden uh franchises going on right now with one with the lions where um we made the playoff last season but didn't get out of the wild card and i've got one with the browns still working on that one that's my newest one on madden and uh, one as well with the Patriots, where we have Malik Cunningham at quarterback. So they're going to break a tackle there and pick up quite a few yards. Our defense is struggling right now. Couldn't get off the field on third down earlier. Apparently, it looks like their impact player is their wide receiver, Everett Baker. Maybe. 
That's what it looked like. I, maybe I'm wrong about that. But, uh, that's a first down, so thought maybe we stopped him short, but I guess not. Doesn't look like... I don't know. They were we're going to get a sack. User sack. Just able to get off the block right away. They're going to lose seven. If we could hold him to a field goal here, I would feel really good about that. Drop back into coverage here. That one's over the middle. and The ball seems like it just floats up in the air sometimes in NCAA. And in Madden, that's where it, like, it had to get picked off or get knocked down or something. But they catch it. Just If we want to beat them today, we're definitely going to have to score more points. So Weren't able to score nearly enough points in the game against Army. Only able to manage three, so. Okay, what's this mid screen again? If we can at least get a field goal on this drive, of course, a touchdown would be really nice, but. Pick up seven there. And I want a long drive, a, a nice, you know, methodical drive would be really good. Gonna hand it off here, and Bell has stopped right away. Not what we want. Well, it curls, but I think I'm probably gonna right away try to scramble and just run for a first down. And we're sacked. The pressure was right into where I was scrambling. We, we got a punt. It's 4th and 14. You know, if it were 4th and 1, I might think about going for it. But, of course, we don't necessarily have the greatest punter either. So, being backed up like that, not good. I'm going to throw that one and immediately get a first down on first down so we have a lot of zone coverage in our coach suggestions here and I would maybe like to play a little more man but they're gonna run. It's another first down. Okay. I think Eastern Michigan is going to be a problem today. We're going to have some recruits that are ready for visits um, after this game when we do the recruiting. So Also occasionally do other games on the channel. So... Once in a while, you'll see a video that's kind of something different. Just played Pow World. That was interesting. Didn't get through the whole tutorial, but just played it for a little while. And he's wide open. Lucky we were able to catch up to him and make the tackle. Ball may be a little underthrown, but... Seems like we're just holding off the inevitable. They're probably going to end up getting into the end zone here. I'll be kind of surprised if we can do anything. And that one's caught in the back of the end zone, but... They're actually going to review this. I thought he got in, to be honest. Of course, college football, you only need one foot down. Maybe just the back of his heel touched out of bounds. They're going to say he was out of bounds. Or no, they're not. They're going to reverse the play. It's a touchdown. Okay. I was wrong. It's a touchdown. I, I definitely thought he got in, though, um, on first glance. So, Going to give us three minutes to score here. I do like the shorter uh, quarter lengths. I feel like it doesn't, you know, 
it makes it not nearly as long. We're going to go with a stretch play here. It's been hard to run the ball today. I get nothing on that one. Really, the only play that's been successful for us has been that. That wide receiver mid-screen. But try a different screen here. We're going to end up throwing it to Adams. And he's hit right away, and we're going to lose four yards. I'm going to go four verticals. Really wish Watkins was on the field, our tight end. And I'm sacked. But there's a flag down. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's holding. I'd be surprised. Yeah, they're going to decline the holding penalty. I was looking to get out of the pocket just a little bit. Probably didn't need to. Although I have a feeling we probably would have been sacked anyway, so. Not going to go for it on 4th and 22. I I have no doubt that if we did, it'd be a turnover on downs. So. Haven't been able to move the ball today. Haven't really tried to push it down the field too much. But usually when we do, it's picked off. So He's got all the time in the world. He's going to be knocked away. That was a good defense right there. Every once in a while, we see a nice play from the defense. Of course, we've got Kaplan here, a linebacker. He's good. They're going to hand it off. It's going to bring up a third and nine. If we stop him here, I think I'll call a timeout. They're probably they're they're at the part of the field where they would punt here, so and we can't make a tackle. So they're going to get a first down now, and now they're going to be looking to score. So, going to get Lawson out here. And I, I probably should have covered him better, but we were trying to really just cover the middle of the field there. And There's a minute left here. They're going to hand it off. Which, I mean, I guess if you pick up 10 yards, this is worth doing. So, again, this is not a team we really match up well against. I mean, Army, I think we were really only in that game because they ran the ball so much. And then when they were looking to pass. You know, we were able to stop it some of the time. But really, we're, we're, we're a lot better at stopping the run. And even then, we're not the best at it. So, Eastern Michigan going to take a 20 to nothing lead here. 21 to nothing pending the extra point. The only way we're really going to stay in this game is if we can get a touchdown here before the half to make it 21 to 7. And I, I just don't know that that's going to happen. If we could hold some blocks on these kickoffs, that would be nice. But Go four verticals here. Try to actually get the pass away. Uh, we have all receivers on the field on this one. so We're going to get it to Peoples. And we'll go hurry up here. And I'm going to go with that mid-screen again. I'm really just looking to pick up a few yards. And then I'm probably going to call a timeout. And we're, we're sacked. Okay, so definitely calling a timeout here. It's going to bring up second and 22. So that's, that's a big problem. I'm going to throw it deep here. Oh, he almost caught up to it. Oh, that would have been a big play. Chavez is a bruised forearm, so he's out of the game. He got hurt on that sack. Didn't even really realize Wilson came into the game, but he's just going to throw it deep. He's got a shot at it. He made the catch. Let's go hurry up here if we can. We can't. Okay. 
Time's running down, but there's there's 30 seconds left here. And we are down pretty close to the goal line here. Brown with the catch. And we are right back in this game. Hopefully only going to be down two scores here um, going into the half. We definitely should be able to hold them with only 22 seconds left. So uh, Spencer Reed has an injury, so we're going to sub in Rose. Maybe we look to push the ball down the field a little more. Maybe their defense is less equipped to handle the deep pass. We had that, that nice one there on second and 22. So I think that was on second down. No, that was third down, wasn't it? They're going to hand it off. Going to break a tackle. And now he's loose. And unfortunately... We are going to give up a touchdown before the end of the half. And sometimes that's what this defense does. That's a new record for the longest run. I don't think they have accurate records in this game. So I, I don't think they were accurate at the time the game came out. Five seconds here, unless we can run back this kickoff. Got one second. We're gonna get a play, and I would I would much like a passing play here. So, um, maybe we try Rose again. As long as we can get a sh some kind of play here. Rose is open. Can he catch up to it? Oh, he had a shot. If if he could have caught that, that would have been nice. Of course, Eastern Michigan going to get the ball to start the second half here. No kind of halftime in this game. I kind of like that. Don't have to wait to get into the second half. But. And and unless you're going to do something really cool for halftime, I don't, I don't see the point. I mean. We need to stop here. We're back down by 21. Got to get a stop. We're really not as in this game as we would like to be. There's a broken tackle, but finally able to catch up to him. He's, he's 12 for 14 for 174. I mean... Our, our defense has not helped us out too much in this game. I think they have actually scored on every drive they've had the ball. So It's a backwards pass. And they're going to lose four yards. So Pretty sure if we held them here, they would not really be in field goal range. So They're going to set up a screen. And they get seven, so it's going to bring up third down. We'll blitz again. We'll look to show the blitz here. Maybe we can get some pressure. They're going to go draw on third and seven. They lose three. They're going to look to kick a field goal. I, I don't think they're going to make this. Um, No, not even close. Okay. So we're going to get pretty decent field position here. And, yeah, I mean, we're, we're out past the 40-yard line. So Chavez back in the game. I'm going to look to set up that screen. Nearly caught the ball right into a tackle. We do get about four. I think maybe we'll look to try to push the ball down the field a little more here. 
going to get to Watkins, who's really one of our best players. And I'm actually going to... I kind of want to go four verticals and then just try to take off up the middle with the quarterback. So that was nice. Um, we'll go four verticals again, but actually look to throw the ball. Hopefully Watkins can get open because he's a big target. He's going to get open. He's going to take the ball. Get us down inside the 20 here. He's kind of covered on that one. Yeah, probably not a good throw there. I don't really like any of these plays. I guess we'll go goal line fade. Maybe try to get it to Adams. Watkins could be another good option here. Watkins definitely a good option. He's open. Into the end zone is Watkins. Our second touchdown of the day. And our highest scoring game of the season. It's only 14 points, but that's our highest scoring game of the season. So maybe I'm getting better at the game. I think, you know, we're, we're playing a little, a little better. Definitely playing more conservatively. Um, not going for it on fourth down like we did, we did a lot in the game against Temple. So we can get a stop here. I mean, we get, <laughs> which is probably going to be hard to do. You know, we got to stop on the last drive. So definitely going to be hard to string two stops together, but. We're only down 14 now. We are in this game. And that's a throwaway. That or just a terrible throw. But I think I think he was trying to throw that away there. So going to go with the blitz here. We're going to blitz the safety. And they're going to throw it underneath. And that's a first down. He powered through the tackles. Picked up a first down. So... A lot of the time here, it's not really paying off a lot to bring us the pressure. Except on the runs. When they run the ball and we bring the pressure, we get stops. So, really that last drive, we just kind of got lucky that they... Uh, that they... That's a tip pass. That's nice. Get a pass deflection. That last drive, we just got lucky that they went with a draw play on third down. It's going to be third and ten here. And they're going to get sacked. Eastern Michigan going to have to punt the ball. And if we can score on this drive, we will only be down by seven. Don't know. <laughs> That we're going to be able to pull that off, but our passing game's been pretty good here today. But I think I'm going to go quarterback draw on first down. Hopefully Chavez doesn't get injured again. He's been pretty injury prone this season. He gets a couple, he gets about three there. Light. We'll go with the mid screen again. It works well. It's usually enough to pick up about anywhere from about five to you know seven yards or so. Getting some good blocks out in front there, and we get a first down. I'm gonna go no huddle and try to run it again. Um, of course, clock does stop after a first down here in college football. We get about eight, so that was that was a good decision. Go with play action here. Again, only five minute quarters, but that's plenty of time, plenty of time to come down the field here. I'm gonna just check it down to Bell. He doesn't get a ton, but does get the first down. I think I'm gonna go read option. Chavez is a dangerous threat as a runner, so. 
<laughs> oh, he wasn't able to get much on that one. And I really don't like any of those plays in that formation. We're going to audible here to a... Not really audible. I mean, it's just picking a different play. But we're going to change the formation. And that one's knocked down. It's going to bring up third and 12 here. Go four verticals again. Four verticals has worked some, some today. So Chavez is going to get out of the pocket here. Going to throw it down the field. That's out of bounds. Fourth and 12 now. And they want us to go for it, so that's what we're going to do. Peoples back onto the field now. He might be able to get open over the middle. I'm going to get it to Peoples, but it's knocked down. That's a turnover on downs. I, I kind of like going for it there. Again, we went with the coach suggestions, so... They wanted us to go for it, and it's fumbled and picked up by the defense. We get the ball right back. Hit as he was throwing, and we get the ball right back. What a break for our, for our team here. And we're going to throw it out to Watkins. He's wide open, and he gets into the end zone. It's a seven-point game pending the extra point. A new high on points for this season. And we've, we've got a shot to win the game here. Make the extra point. And what have we scored here? Is this, this is uh, 14 unanswered? So... They're going to get the ball on the kickoff here. Four minutes. As long as we can get a stop, we will have a shot to tie it up. And this would be a huge comeback. They're going to throw it again and <laughs> nearly another costly play. We're definitely doing good bringing the pressure here. These last two drives or so. Not going to bring it on this play. We're also going to make a tackle after a gain of five. And I think we bring the pressure again here on third down. You never know in college football, they may try to run the ball. Falk going to come out here. And that's, oh, that's caught. He absolutely mossed him on that one. So that's a first down. So now we're going to be looking to get another stop here. And after giving up the big play. And it's intercepted by Davis. <laughs> we get another turnover. Just out, out jumping the wide receiver to the ball there. Now we've got we've got a chance. Let's go with this mid screen again. It's been working well all game. Hmm. They played it well that time. Go four verticals again, I guess. I really prefer the four verticals where we have Watkins on the field. Going to take off here with Chavez. He's going to get a first down. I think I'm going to go halfback draw. I really haven't tried this at all today, but... Maybe we catch him off guard here after the four verticals. We kind of don't, so. Go back to the mid-screen. Didn't work a couple of plays ago, but should work well here. We get a lot of blocks. He's going down the field. Reed's past everybody. Is He, he gets stopped at the 10. Our biggest play maybe of the whole season. And now we now we just need 
to take care of the ball. And we're going to get it underneath to Mason. And we've got just a few yards to go here. And we could be tying up this game. Get it to Watkins. That's a touchdown. And we have come all the way back and are an extra point away from tying the game. Maybe we'll get a win this season. This would definitely help our ability to recruit. Again, I we don't have anyone visiting this week. There was a player that we could have had visit, and I think I pushed it to next week. I think we play New Mexico State next week. They're going to break a tackle. And we do finally get a stop. But that's a big play for Eastern Michigan. Now we're just looking to hold them to a field goal. We've got all of our timeouts here to stop the clock, too. They're going to get about four. They're not looking to hurry up too much here. They know they're into field goal range. They know they can start to run the clock a little bit. But that one's going to be intercepted. User pick. Probably should have stayed in the end zone on that one. But we're going to get the ball at the four. Gonna hand it off here. We get a few. Get about eight actually. I'm gonna go with a full play to the fullback here. And if we get the first down, I'll call a timeout. We do get the first down. I'm gonna call a timeout. Get us into a different formation here. If we can come down the field and kick a game winning field goal, that would be amazing. Um, I really just don't want to turn the ball over. I'm totally fine with taking this into overtime. Although I, I don't know how well we're going to be able to stop them in overtime. So It's going to be second and inches, so the clock's still going to move here. Go fullback dive again. He's going to get the first down. Okay. That's going to stop the clock momentarily here. Until they set the chains. Get up on it really quick. I don't, I don't know how to throw the ball away. Okay. Well, that's a problem. We just lost 10 yards. We just lost 10 yards because I, di I didn't know the button to throw the ball away. So. That's an issue. People's wide open, but we, we can't hit him. We can't hit him. Go four verticals again here. We need 20 yards, which is really a problem. Uh, I'm just going to scramble. We fumbled the ball. We just fumbled the ball. Oh, no. I hope he was down. I hope they review this and say he was down. Oh, no. They're not. They're not going to review it. Can I challenge it? Can I challenge the fumble? I'm going to challenge the fumble. There's no reason not to. I think he was down. Was he down? He looked like he might have been down. No. They're going to say it was a fumble. Oh, that would have caught that's going to cost us the game. We have 30 seconds and one timeout now. Of course, clock does stop on first downs, but 
Oh, uh, it's, it's going to be really tough here. We had a sh we had a chance. We had a chance. I don't know we would have done much better in overtime, but I don't I don't like any of these plays. And we're running out of time now. So there are four verticals. I think I think we're just gonna have to go with something here. Now I don't know if we're gonna get the snap off. And we don't. It's gonna back us up five yards. At least there's no 10 second runoff or anything like that. I think we did find the play we wanted here. If we get a, if we can pick up a couple of first downs, I mean maybe we've got a shot. That safety just moved towards the middle, but oh man, we got hit hard there. Uh, we're gonna go with the same play again here. The same four verticals. Wilson's in the game now, too. I didn't realize that. He came in and played okay earlier. Going to get it down the field. That's incomplete. I like this play. I like having Watkins on the field at tight end. Rose was open that last play. I just I couldn't get it to him. We're going to take a shot here. It's knocked down. Fourth and 15 now. What, is, what does Coach have? Coach has a different four verticals play. Chavez has back spasms. He's out for the game. So If if we were to take this to overtime, he's not going to be back. So going to scramble here and try, tried to throw. Tried to launch it down the field. Didn't work. It's going to be a turnover. They're... Probably just going to take a knee here. Yeah, they're going to take a knee. We lost. I mean, we came all the way back, and then we blew it on the fumble. So Chavez was hurt on the fumble play, too, so he wasn't wasn't in the game for that last drive. But Oh, that was, that was bad. That was a, that was a real chance there to win the game. And that's... The new number one ESPN Instant Classic. So let's take a look at the stats here. Chavez was 17 for 24 for 229 and four touchdowns. When he was in the game, he was playing well. Wilson came in the game for a little bit, and I really thought he did better than what he did. He really just had a 47 yard pass, and that was it. Um, I think he didn't, he only came in the game for like two plays earlier. And then he was there on that last drive. Rushing, we did nothing. We cannot run the ball for shit. I mean, we are just terrible. Chavez had 10 for minus 19. I mean, that's of course factoring in sacks, but had a long of 11. I mean, really only had one good scramble receiving. It was Spencer Reed, and I mean, he had seven for 139, but he wasn't the guy who had the touchdowns. That was Watkins, and I think if we don't have that fumble, I think if I throw the ball on that last play, just throw it to anybody and then punt, maybe it goes into overtime, but I mean, I guess we'll never know. Did have a few tackles for loss. Andrew Kaplan played well. Had three sacks today. Henry had one. Mike Campbell and Andrew Kaplan. The two interceptions were really what kept us in the game. 
James Clemens, and then Tim Davis. And then, of course, there was the forced fumble by Andrew Kaplan and the fumble recovery by Dwayne White. I mean, this team has surprised me the last two games. I really thought, you know, we wouldn't have much of a chance to really win any games, but they've kind of shown that, um, you know, maybe we can maybe we can win one. You know, we've we had that low scoring game against Army, and today we came all the way back, tied it up, but couldn't finish, could not finish, and we lose to Eastern Michigan. We'll take a look here. We'll we'll take a look at the conference standings. Top twenty five doesn't matter much to us. Um, Miami, we've only got. This is the East. Let's look at the whole Mac. Miami is, you know, playing well. Temple, you know, one known conference play. They beat us. But I mean, we're we're about as bad as Buffalo is. So Buffalo's, you know, <laughs> allowed you know nearly as many points as us, and, and we allowed a hundred in one game. So. I mean, it's a difference of 40, but I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> let's, let's see Temple. Temple scored 163 points, and 100 of those were in one game. So we're near the bottom of the conference, but <laughs> technically, we're not the worst team in the MAC. Buffalo is. So. Um,. We'll take a look at the schedule here because we're obviously not going to advance the week yet. We'll do the recruiting in a separate video, as we've been doing. I'm going to take on FIU next week. so They are not a MAC team, obviously. It's a non-conference game. Maybe we get a win. And then the week after that, we take on New Mexico, who right now is 0-4. And then we'll probably lose to OU. I mean, they're a good team. So it's going to do it for this one. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was a pretty rough loss that, I mean, maybe could have been a win, but maybe going to give us some hope for future games. We will, I'll see you in the recruiting video. Have a good day.